guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome back to the channel. I know I'm filming. We're, my kitchen's not that big of a mess today. <laughs> Look, girlfriend cleaned off her countertop. She's got her dishes going. We're getting caught up here on the farm. And I was gonna take the day off. Let me set you down back up against my tripod. It's called a ceramic bowl. It's so fancy. But uh, I just wanted to do a quick talking video uh, for you tonight. And I know a lot of you are probably out doing stuff with your kids and different things like that, grandbabies. Maybe you're doing a trunk or treat or whatever. Um, there's a lot going on, but first and foremost, thank you for being here. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you being here. Um, like I said, we've been busy today and I was gonna just take the day off and then I've paid attention to some things today again and reading your comments. And of course, I have been over and watched the latest video, which came out a couple hours ago, from Deep River Farm. It's about a 25 minute video. And uh, he goes into um, a lot of different details in terms of donations um, and all the wonderful things that are happening. And it's just a wonderful testimony to see all of these things. But he also goes into a lot of details of things that are going on into North Carolina. And you can clearly tell, um, you know, it's tough not to get emotional when we talk about all the things that are going on. And not only that, but to remember that we need to always... <laughs> you want to say hi to everybody? Look here. Remember that little baby kitten that was saved on the side of the highway last year? Yeah, this is him now. Or isn't it baby? He's my big baby. I'm not even going to put him in the floor because he's just going to jump back up there. That's the way he is. He's wanting attention. You want attention, baby? But... To go back to what I was saying, that video, um, I, I really want you go watch it. It's worth well worth your time. Um, talks about all the things that are going on in terms of the donation drive that's going on, going up there uh, to Flat Rock, North Carolina, this coming Saturday, and all the donations from so many folks from all around the country and the world and the churches. You guys are a big part of that. And oh, he got down. Um, you guys are a massive part of that, and I know you are. <laughs> And I want to thank you for doing everything that you are doing right now. If you watch the video, which I encourage you to, like I said, um, he talks about, you know, be the megaphone. And he's right. Uh, there's several points I want to make here. Um, he talks about basically, what if the entire country, every church in the country, just did a little something for the folks that are victims of Helene, whether it's there's massive loss of different forms all across the board. And I want you to listen to the numbers that he talks about in that video as well. Um, folks lose, the, 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 as you know, it's, it's really easy for us to sit here and say, well, yeah, people have lost their homes or lost their dog or worse. And then we go on with our lives, but we don't consider that a lot of these people uh, not only are sleeping in tents, They've lost their home. Um, maybe they've lost a loved one. They've lost their job. They've lost everything. And if your insurance isn't helping you out because you didn't have flood insurance and well, other entities aren't really doing a whole lot and he goes into it a whole lot better than I have. Um, what are you going to do? So like you say, or like he said, people are making payments on property on homes that are, have already floated down the Noah Chucky, okay? So, I think this is a call to action uh, on his part, and I want to I wanna be a little sounding box for him if I can, because it's the truth. This is not to guilt somebody into doing something they don't want to do, but if, and if you've donated, bless your heart, and that's a good bless your heart, thank you. That's a thank you. But at the same time, he's he, he makes the point of, if your church hasn't done anything to try to do something to help and, and I agree with him. And I would feel this way if this happened in California, if this had happened in Vermont or whatever. It's a real true call to action to show that the help that these people are getting is because of people like you and because of the churches. Good people, good organizations, good people, neighbors and friends from all around the country and the world and the churches that are willing to step up. And if every church alone was just willing to help out just a little bit, take up a donation Sunday and maybe they'd raise just a couple hundred bucks, you know, uh, to send to certain places, good places to assist. Because as he said, and it's true, 
in these people are gonna have to rebuild their entire lives and we're not talking about two or three people we're not talking about one town and you know there's a lot of stories that um I battle with talking about because again it's going into details about people's personal lives but it's very devastating to understand and to know that their stories have to be told at some time because that's what motivates us to realize how paramount the situation is so I ask you to pray on this um, I encourage you to listen to this video like I said this is like the 10th time I've said it um, and I want you to consider here we are, you know, it's a month later, and we're going into this election coming up in just a couple of days. Hope you voted. And um, things could get rough quick, guys. And we don't want these people and these efforts to be lost due to politics and due to anything that comes along with what's coming up in terms of the election by Tuesday. Uh, because this is an ongoing event in terms of Helene, and I'm speaking very specific. I'm not trying to leave out South Carolina or Virginia or Florida, but what we know and what we're working with closely here, um, up for, just because of proximity, is um, obviously East, Upper East, in, Upper East Tennessee, and of course Western North Carolina. It's all one little cluster of people, right? And so, if you can get your your church to maybe help out. Um, in his video, he gives a ton of information. There's another project coming up. Of course, we already have Project Santa and the Helene Relief, Mountain Relief, and different things. But this is an ongoing thing, and uh, it's growing. And um, we encourage you to take part and just do what you can, okay? Uh, you know, no hard feelings here. But it, it is true. In any case, it, with anything that happened, if everybody just did a, one little thing, like he says, I love this. He says, you can't do everything, but you can do something. If everybody just did a little something, what a difference it would make. And I want to tell you right now, you make sure that if you do something and if you organize something, um, make sure that you are doing your very best to send it to a private and or church organization uh, that you know are boots on the ground or that are, are purposely being transparent as hard as they can so that you know that your money and your time and your goods are going to the right spots. Also, just real quick, be sure to know that if you are sending items, especially if you guys are taking the time to make items, make sure that your agenda in terms of your plan for wherever you're sending it, make sure you know for a fact that they're taking those items. Because I've had a lot of emails and messages about things, people sending um, used clothes and different things, and then they get up, they got upset because their items were no longer, it was like, no. Um, here's the thing, most of the places that I've worked with, not all, and this is not one of them, the church that he's representing, and what we, they were taking softly used, fresh washed clothes. Um, but they're not huge. When people were sending in, like we saw in Cock County, and at the warehouse, people were just dropping off stuff. And they don't, uh, you, you have to understand that when you donate used items, uh, specifically clothing, bedding, different things like that. Uh, that has to be verified in terms of cleanliness. It needs to be washed again. And a lot of these facilities can't do that. This is an ongoing day-by-day -day thing. A lot of these facilities, you know, they have, a, they have the basics of what they need to function. But to have a laundromat going, that, that's not what they have. So please don't get upset about that. But just do your due diligence to do the best you can to, to vet what you're doing, okay? Your hearts are there. Your spirit is there. And that's what matters. And God knows that. And that's what matters most. But I don't want you disappointed. So just make sure you check in about as much as you can in terms of who's taking what. Because it is changing. But the fact does remain, we've had a really nice break in weather uh, we were 81 degrees yesterday. We were in the 70s today. Rain comes to more so tomorrow. Uh, but we're going to be nice overall for the next week, at least here in East Tennessee. So um, that's a positive. So we're getting a break from the potential in terms of cold weather. Because a year ago right now, we were bracing for below freezing temperatures. And like I said, me having 20 goat babies up in my barn like I did because the temperature dropped and the pressure changed. And, you know, we had a bunch of goats. But this year, right now at this time, as we hit November 1st, we're not, it's nice weather, but that won't hang around much longer. So just something to think about. Something else I want y'all to think about real quick is people's tempers. 
This is not something that I like to talk about because I know it brings a level of stress and anxiety to everybody. I mean, I know we sit here and go, well, I figured, I figured, I figured. But like I said, as you know, tonight's Thursday night. The election is Tuesday. Anything can happen between now and then. Uh, there's a lot of speculation as to how this is going to go and what's going to happen thereafter. And a lot of serious and, um, you know, some of you might call it doomsday discussions. Here's the deal. Try to not get wrapped around the axle. Um, you're most likely going to have somebody somewhere potentially say something s silly, stupid, and ugly to you. I've had a couple today. I mean, you know, I put up that video yesterday um, <laughs> talking about the garbage and w the reaction to that and what what's going on with that in terms of why all that was said originally. Um, and I really tried to push the whole point that I believe in, which is unity, um, as best we can. And there's some people out there that don't like that. So here's what I'm telling you. I'm, t I'm, I'm trying to bring you in through my lenses. Not that I'm somebody special, but just that I see a lot of comments. I see things that guys maybe you don't necessarily see. Uh, just like my husband. I'm like, just sit down for an hour and read through my comments and my emails. And you're going to get a real quick pulse every day of what people are thinking and doing. Most are awesome, like you guys. Most are just wonderful. But every now and then, you know, a, a little demon likes to rear his head. And we are in the biggest spiritual warfare battle, folks. We're going into it hardcore. And it's it, it could be something that plagues us for a long time. You don't know and I don't know the timing of things. But what we do know is this. I'm going to say this. This is what I would say to my own kids. You do the best that you can to keep up with the news. Try your best to not get super upset or to get paralyzed with anxiety because you need to be busy. Be going through all of your items at your house to make sure that you have sustainability on a level of at least 30 days. That's that's a low that's that's a low that's actually a low goal, folks, but it's a good one. And we're going to start there. You know the deal, you know the drill. Water, what well, protection, food, water, meds, pet needs, comfort needs, Warmth, cast iron. What if you what if you what if you lose power and you have to cook outside on your cowboy grill? You want cast iron for that. We've talked about all of this how many times? Um, I want you to the next couple of days. I'm going to ask you to really think about what we said in, in the first part of this video about he calls it being a megaphone and really trying to you know work with people that you know in your church to see. Um, What's been done to help folks that need help? Because it's Americans that are helping Americans right now. Nobody else. American citizens in terms of just ordinary people. Plain people like me. Plain people like you. Churches. But here's the deal, guys. <clears throat> I'm not trying to make you to become a hermit. I'm not trying to tell you not to have a voice. But I am concerned about people's safety. That's, uh, that's the mother in me coming out for y'all. And um, I would avoid anything. Let me put it to you this way. My Papa Bear just told me this. I was, I'm, I'm slated to potentially go somewhere on Saturday. And um, I just don't know if it's, it's, my gut is telling me different. And my mind wants to do it. But the, due to the traveling and everything else, my gut's telling me I have to take care of business at home. And... That's hard on me because I just want to go and help and do all the things I like to do. But but as my papa bear just told me, and he has the best wisdom, he said, uh-uh. He said, you just answered my question and you just answered your own question. He said, if your gut instinct, and I know this, he said, if your gut, the first answer that came out of your heart is don't go or don't do this, then you need to stay home. And I said, you're right. So I'm going to pass that on to you. So regardless of where you are, or where you live, I don't care what color you are. I don't care what you believe. I don't care if you're even voting for Kamala. I want you safe. We want you safe. Okay? All right? There's a lot of masquerading of things out there. I don't know the first person right now. I don't. I can't. I don't know the first person that is uh, a Christian, that is a mother, a father, uh, voting for Donald Trump. Um, that wants to start any trouble with anybody. They don't want that. We don't want that. Um, and I, I fear that you have evil forces that are going to masquerade themselves as being 
one or the other. I mean, you know what I'm saying? They don't, there are forces of nature right now, evilness, that just want us to fight. And I see those every day. They want you to fight. They want us divided. You've got to be smarter than that. You know how this whole garbage truck and garbage, all this stuff has been just flipped on its head? It was outsmarted. Taking bad and making it good. The bad right now is the anxiety, the stress. Maybe you're not prepared. Maybe you're unsure. Uh, you're seeing things on social media that are stressing you out. They stress me out. I don't see how they don't stress anybody out. We have to trust God and we have to use the brains that God and Granny gave us. And we need to vote, pray, prepare, and be peaceful. There's some people that don't like that answer. They don't like it. They don't like it at all. And I understand that people are upset. I'm upset too. But I also understand that if we come at each other's throats, the consequences for everybody could be much heavier. We are a better people than that. We have already been through these things before. You may not remember them. You weren't even alive, nor was I. But this country has been through hell and back to hell and back several times. Let's not go there again. So for now, I want you to please think about doing these things. Being productive and being positive and putting that positive energy out there. You know, when I'm having a rough moment, and I feel like I'm being tugged on and something's sitting on my shoulder poking me in the ear and the eyeball at the same time of just saying nasty things to me in my, in my ear. You get those little devils sitting there. You know what I do? I flick them off, say a prayer, and I go and order Bibles for people. It really does help. So what that means is, is taking, getting the positive back into it. Helping somebody making sure your preps are, in, are right where they need to be. Go vote, because that's your voice, should be your voice. And really, truly, let's try our hardest to be the example that God wants us to be. Because you're getting pulled. And I fear, if I can use that word, I think, I anticipate, I worry that the, the tug is coming faster than we know and harder than we can predict. And if that's the case, if that's the case, I pray I'm wrong, you have to be psychologically and emotionally prepared for that. You know, a lot of us in the last five to six weeks have been through the ringer, even if we still have our homes. And, you know, it's easy for me to sit here and say this, but there's a lot of hate out there. And you can, you can sit here just like me and, or anywhere and talk, talk about Jesus and talk about saving the babies and helping each other and let's unite and God bless America and I want you to be safe and I, regardless of what you're doing and, and let's be smart and, and let's, let's be better people. And there's going to be something. And it's not, it, it may be in human flesh in terms of its existence, but that's not the fundamental depthness that it comes from. We're in a spiritual warfare, folks. Well, I hope this video finds you well. And I'm praying for you. And I'm praying for this nation. And I'm praying for our, all the people out there that are hurt and devastated beyond our imaginations. And, and I just want to say that we're continuing to try to be the force of saying help is on the way. And there's so many good people. Look at what has happened to North Carolina and there's and, and all of the hurt and devastation, as I say, God is everywhere. Folks, no matter how bad it gets, remember God is on our side and God is not leaving us. He does not He's not leaving his children. We just have to rise to the occasion and ask him to lead us and to remind us of what he wants us to do. He's gonna let you know. For now. Pray prepping and being peaceful. I personally feel that is what we are supposed to be doing right now. I understand your frustrations. And I know there's men out there especially that have wonderful hearts and hate to see what's going on because they're stepping up and being the, the, the leaders of this country that this country needs. 
But the most important role at this moment right now is to keep your cool, guys, and girls too, guys and dolls, and to work on your skills, hardcore, pedal to the metal on your preps the next couple of days. Don't waste a day. Don't waste a moment. Don't do it. You don't have time for the shenanigans. Be working very hard and praying very hard. Hope this video finds you well. Check out that new video, like I said, over at Deep River Farm. He has a ton of information in this new video. I'll put it down in the description. Remember, you hit more and it expands it and it'll be in there, okay? Because he talked, it's not just showing you what is going on in terms of the donations and whatnot coming up for this Saturday, but he also goes into a lot of specifics and he really hammers home on numbers and he hammers home on really encouraging you to be the sounding box to encourage us all to help each other. Because here's the deal. It wasn't me on September 27th. Most likely wasn't you either. Who will it be next time? So we need to put that positive energy forward. Like, subscribe, and share. Pray, prep, and be so peaceful. I'm loving on you as much as I can, guys, through this little camera right here. And I appreciate you loving on us back. You don't know how much it means. we got to stay strong. And, you know, there's moments in the day that I, will, I submit to you I've, like I said in a post today, I've, I've probably cried more in the last f four or five weeks than I probably collectively have cried over the last 10 years. It's a lot of stress and anxiety and a lot of heartbreak. God has a reason for everything. And the beauty of God is everywhere. Isn't it, Marie? Look here. Look at this. Look, look, look. Now, what do you want? <laughs> All right, guys, I love you. I'm going to go close the barn, and I will see you, hopefully, tomorrow on the next video. You good girl? Yeah. Mwah.